Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I am going to talk about 13 tips and tricks for using S Pen button for Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. The number one tip is about screen of memo. So for example, I lock my tablet screen. Now I will press my S Pen button and I will tap on my screen two times. So I will just press my S Pen button and here you can see it will open the screen of memo so here i can take my notes i can write here for example if i have some appointment i'm in a hurry i can just use the screen of memo so when i finish my work i can just save it and it will save into my samsung notes so later if you want you can also access it through your samsung notes for example i open the samsung notes so here is your note the next tip is about using your S Pen button for PowerPoint presentations so for example I open my slides and then I will open this presentation so now what I will do is I will just use my S Pen button to move between different slides so for example if I move to the next slide I will just press it in the air so here you can see it turn on the next slide now for example again I press my S Pen button okay so here I press and now it changed to the next slide. If I want to go back to the previous slide, I have to press this S Pen button two times. So I will press it two times. So now it will go back to the previous slide. If I go again back to the previous slide, I press it two time in the air and it will go back to the first slide. So this is how I can use my S Pen button to move between different slides in my PowerPoint presentations. The next tip is about using your S Pen button to take the screenshot so for example I want to take the screenshot of this part so now what I will do I will press my S Pen button and I move my pen in the air as a zigzag gesture so I will press it like this and I will move it like this so here you can see it take the screenshot now I can do all my editing for example if I want to write something and then if I want to erase something so once I finish my editing, I can just save it and then it will save into my gallery. The next tip is about using your S Pen button to open Samsung Notes over any other app. For example, I open the internet browser and I am looking at this website. Now I want to open the Samsung Notes. So what I will do, I press my S Pen button and I tap on my screen two times. So I just press it and I tap on my screen. So here you can see it open the Samsung Notes and here I can also take my notes. The next thing is you can see it is blocking the view behind. So what you can do, you can use these three dots. You select this option for opacity and you can reduce the opacity okay so here you can see now you can see at the background and you can also take your notes in meantime so this is how you can use it the next tip is about using your s pen button to unlock your tablet for example i lock my tablet now what i have to do i have to press my s pen button two times like this Okay, and here you see the tablet is now unlocked and it also bypass the security. If you want to enable this setting, you have to go into the settings, then you have to go into the advanced features. Okay, and then go to the S Pen and once you enter into the S Pen, you have to scroll down and here you see this option of more S Pen settings. Just select it and here the very first option is about S Pen Unlock. So if it is disabled, you have to enable it. The next tip is about using your S Pen button to take picture or record video through your camera. For example, I turn on the camera and now I want to take a picture. So now what I will do, I will just press this S Pen button like that. I don't have to touch the screen. I just press the S Pen button and here you can see it take the picture for me. So same way, if you want, you can move towards your video option. So what you have to do, press the S Pen button and move your pen in the air like this. So I will move it like this. So here you can see it turn on the video option. Now I want to record record a video so again what I will do I will just press my S Pen button like that okay and then you can see it start recording the video so here you can see it is now recording a video now for example I want to stop the recording so I will just press this S Pen button again and here you can see it stop the recording now for example I want to go more option 
so again what i will do i press my s pen button and i move my pen like that so here you can see it take you to the more option and now for example you want to go back okay so again you have to press the s pen button and move in this direction so here is the video option then again it's the photo option then again if i move like this it take me to the portrait option so now for example i want to take this portrait mode photo i press my s pen button just like this and it start taking the picture so this is how you can use it the next tip is about using your s pen button to open the samsung notes directly so i will just press and hold my s pen button like this and here you can see it open the samsung notes and here i can take my notes the next thing is using your s pen button inside the samsung notes so for example if i press this s pen button one time like that it will switch on to next favorite pen so here you can see this is the next pen okay and then for example if you want to switch to the next favorite pen again you press it one time so here you can see it move to the next favorite pen so here you can see this is the next one now if you want to go back to the previous favorite pen you have to press this s pen button two times like this so i press it two times now it switch back to the previous favorite pen and here i can use my pen okay so this is how you can switch between different favorite pens using your s pen button the next tip is if you press and hold this s pen button you can use it as eraser okay so for example if i want to erase i just press and hold my s pen button and i can erase okay and if i want to write back again i just leave my s pen button and now i can write okay so in samsung notes you can also use your s pen button for undo and redo but you have to use a gesture for example i make this circle now i want to undo this okay so what i have to do i press my s pen button and i move my pen in the backward direction so i will show you so i will just press my s pen button and now i move it like this so now you can see it is undo if i want to redo it i again have to press this s pen button but this time i have to move in this direction so i will press and i move in this direction so now it is redo so this is how you can use it the next tip is about using your s pen button to use the smart select option so for example i open a website and i want to use the smart select for this part now what i will do i will press and hold my s pen button and i move my pen like this okay so in a v shape i will move and it will open the smart select so i will show you so here you can see that it open the smart select now i can select any part for example i want to select this part for the smart selection so here you can see it select this part now whatever i want i can do with this image for example if i want to write something i can write i can download it and i can also share it the next tip is about using your s pen button for stopwatch so for example i open this clock and i open this stopwatch now for example i want to start this stopwatch so i will just press my s pen button okay like this okay so here you can see it turn on the stopwatch now for example i want to mark lap okay so again what i will do again i will press this s pen button to mark the lap so here you can see this is the first lap okay again for example i want to uh, mark another lap i just press it again so here is the second lap so this is how you can use your s pen button for stopwatch the next tip is about using your s pen button in the gallery to change between different images so i just open this gallery and now for example i open this image now for example i want to move to the next image i will just press my s pen button one time like this and it will move to the next image and again if i press so it will move to the next image and here it will move to another image now for example i want to go back to the previous image so what i have to do i have to press this s pen button two times so i press it like this and now it start moving back and now if i press it two times again so here you can see now it is moving back so this is how you can use your s pen button in your gallery the next tip is about using your s pen button for media control so for example i open a video like this 
case and here for example i want to pause this video so what i will do i will just use my s pen button i will just press it in the air like this and you can see the video is now paused for example i want to play it again i again press this s pen button like this and the video start playing the next thing is for example you want to move to the next video so you have to press this s pen button two times so i will press it two times like this so here you can see it turn on the next video again if i press it two times it move to the next video the next tip is using your s pen button to turn on the air command so what you have to do just bring your pen closer to the screen and just press this s pen button so i bring my pen closer and i press my s pen button and here you can see it turn on the air command you can do this anywhere on your screen for example i will do it here on the top i bring my pen closer and i press my s pen button like this so here you can see it turn on the air command and in this air command i can use different features for example i can use the screen write smart select create note ar doodle so there are different options i can use the last tip is about air action settings and customization so first of all you have to go into the settings once you enter into the settings you just have to go to the advanced features so here is the advanced features option just select it once you select it here you see this option of s pen just select it and here you can see the s pen is now connected but it is detached so if you want to connect it you have to put it at the back side of your tablet okay so here on this part you have to attach it like this it will attach magnetically and once you attach it here you can see it is showing you now it is charging and it is also showing you the percentage and it is also connected the next thing is once you make a connection you have to go in the air action settings so air actions is currently enabled so for example if you want to turn it off you can turn it off from here okay but if you want to turn it on just select it and then inside air action you have to just select it once you go inside air action the very first thing over here is how you can use this air actions so here if you want to learn you can just select this learn how and it will show you a demo the next thing is you can also customize your air action settings for example press and hold pen button currently it is set to samsung notes but if you want to change it you can just select it and now here you have different options so you can select any of these options now for example the other thing is air gestures so here you can see you can use these different air gestures and you can also customize them so for example this is screen right i can just change it from here okay and then if you want to see the app actions there are different app actions and then we have this general app application for camera for media so you can learn all about air action from here so this is how you can use the s pen button in samsung galaxy tab s8 ultra so guys this is for today's video please like this video and please subscribe to my channel thank you very much